Assalamu alaikum and a very good day everyone. My name is Muhammad Zakim Mas'ud and I'll be your instructor for Topic 7, Security and Application. In this topic, we're going to discuss on the biometric security, the HTTP security, web security, and email security. For the first part, we're going to discuss on the electronic mail security. This means we're going to discuss the security threat and also the secure email standard and products. Email security is for electronic mail or email, which is one of the application that is widely used regarded in a regarded network-based application in virtually all distributed environment. Currently, the email message are not secure. It is plainly sent through the network without any encryption. So anyone can actually read it. It can be inspected either in transit or by suitably privileged user on the destination system. Email should have provided the confidentiality, which it should protect from disclosure. Authentication of sender or message, message integrity, uh, which is the protection from the modification of content and the non reduction of origin which protection from the denial by sender so how an email works an email is a message made up of a string of ASCII character in a format specified by the RFC 822 it contains two parts which the first part will contains the header which has the sender, the recipient, the date of the email, the subject and the delivery path and the second part is the body which will going to contain the actual message as mentioned earlier email provide five securities the first one it should provide confidentiality. Second, the data origin authentication. The message integrity. Fourth, is a message integration of non reproduction of origin. And finally, the key management. So, what is the threat for an email? It can be divided into two categories. The threat to the security of email itself and the threat enabled by the email. The threat to the security of email itself, it can be the loss of confidentiality in which the email are sent in a clear over open network and it can also be because of the email is stored on a potentially insecure client and mail server. Second trend is the lack of a data origin of the authentication. Is the email you receive is really from the person name in the sender. Uh, the content might be altered during the transmission of the email over the network. The next thread can be the loss of integrity. No integrity protection on emails. Anybody can alter uh, the email content during the transmission or on the mail server itself. The next step is the lack of non repudiation, in which, if you receive an email, the sender can deny that he's the one who actually sent it. So, how are you going to prove it? That the sender is really the one who actually sent it. The next threat is the lack of the notification of receive. Anybody can receive an email, but how are you going to know that the email is already being received on the, on the other side and really has been read by the recipient? So what we mean by the threat enabled by an email? As you know, email can contain attachment. The attachment can be a self-replicating code which is can exploit 
the features or the vulnerability of the email clients. Okay, this could only happen if the recipient actually click on the attachment and open it. If the attachment contains a virus, it can infect the client who actually receive the email. Okay. The virus outbreak can result in a denial of service, which expose the system to a service breakdown. And also, a threat enabled by email can be in form of spamming, which is unwanted email uh, fill out the mailbox of the client. Email-based attack can be active content attacks, which you can actually clean it up at the server. Or it can be in form of verbal overflow attacks, which can you can of course fix the code of the email client. Or it can be a shell script attacks. This can be securely avoided by scanning before you send to the shell. And finally, the Trojan host attack, which you can prevent it uh, by really look at the attachment or scan the attachment first before you actually click it to open. The web bug of our tracking uh, can be avoided using a mangled image at the mail server. How secure is your email? An email can be secure if you secure the server to client connection. This can be done by providing HTTPS to access to the web mail. It is easy to configure and it also can protect against insecure wireless access. Or you can secure the email by using the end-to-end -end email approach delivery in which you can encrypt the email before you send and on the recipient side, before they can read it, they have to decrypt it. An example of the tools that you can use is by using the PGP. Well guys, we are the last slide of this session. The next video will be on the topic Secure Socket Layer or SSL. Hope this early session has given you some new knowledge on the electronic mail security. If anyone who wants to know more about this topic, do not hesitate to contact me uh, using the email below. See you next time. Assalamualaikum and a very good day.